Hey guys, how are you? My name is Jorge Silvestrini. Just wanted to share some knowledge. Uh, I've been playing around with Ableton Live 9 and we've talked about uh, recently about locators in Ableton Live 9 and how uh, Ableton should work or give us another option, something to work easier with locators. Um, one of the problems that I currently have is once I set all my locators, I cannot move any part of, or section of my song because the locators don't move. We don't have a, a way of copying and pasting locators. And I found a way uh, by using the paste time feature that we can move locators as well and maybe get into something creative so that we can adjust the locators as we need. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hope it helps you and it sparks uh, some more creativity from you, okay? Hope this works for you as well. So I'm here in Ableton Live 9 and I have a multi-track up. Um, and One. here it is. Two. Blah, blah. One, two, three, One higher. four. Perfect. Let's say everything is perfect. Um, but my creative team has uh, told me that we want to do a video. So we want to have a sync this song sync to video for example now i'm gonna probably need to have at least one measure maybe two measures up in front so that i could tell pro pre center or pro video um, where to start via a midi cue and the easiest way for me to to do this would have been just select all grab move two bars and i'm done and then I can create new MIDI track and, and just go from there. Um, but this literally does not work because I got all this locators here um, that are not going to transfer well. So it'll take me another five minutes to just go each locator, you know, one, two, move them, one, two, one, two, right? So let's undo all this. Okay, back to zero. And here's the little trick. Um, it works either if we do it with, a, with an audio track or if we do it with a MIDI clip. So I'm going to show it both ways. Here it is with an audio. And all I'm going to do is, let's say I'm going to get to the end of the guide here. And I'm going to select two measures. So from 110 through 112. I got those two measures. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Okay. I'm going to go to zero. My count all is. And I'm going to paste it there. If I do that, it just moved this track by two, those two measures. Okay. We sort of know that. But if we do paste time check what happens everything got moved by two measures including all of our locators which is exactly what i wanted okay so i can now delete this create my new midi track and then this will be our triggers right done um it also works if you do it with a midi track okay so let's see how that will work. So again, I'm just going to go over to the end or whatever. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to create that trigger MIDI track. So insert a MIDI track. And then let's say um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select two measures. And this time I'm just going to create a MIDI clip. So insert MIDI clip. I've got one now. It's empty. Nothing in it. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to delete it from there because I don't need it there. And I'm going to go to the top right here by the count off. Okay. And um, if I do paste, it'll just add it there. And that's not what I need. So I'm going to do paste time, which uh, the shortcut is same as paste, command V, and you add the shift. Voila. I select this. Have a little bit more than two measures. Let's do that again. So 
voila, two measures on the dot. I can erase that or just go ahead and position uh, my trigger there if I know it. And once we play, we get those two measures. But the important thing is all of these locators now moved. So same thing would happen if we want to get creative with our arrangement. And if we need to do, let's say, another pre-chorus, there's two pre-choruses. Let's say that we want to do two verses here. So we, we can select that. Edit, paste time. Oops, sorry. Copy. Edit, paste time. Voila. And it moved everything. So I will only need to add a new locator there. Rename it. Verse 1. And I'm done. So hope this uh, tip really helps you. Um, you leave any comments here in the channel. And you can find me on uh, social media in Twitter at Jay Silvestrini if you want to talk a little bit more, share your some of your uh, tips with me, and anything else. Hope to see you around soon. Keep making great music. Okay? Suenalo. Bye-bye.